most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to show you how to use a riding lawnmower, a riding mower, when you have back pain or sciatica. Now, the first thing we're going to say, Brad, is that we're going to highly recommend that you do not use it. Right. Um, it, it, the most lawnmowers have poor back support. Um, I have seen standing models, but those usually are, are commercial models, right? Yeah, usually the homeowner doesn't have one of those. Yeah. most In most cases, you're gonna, your back is going to be in a flexed position, which is really bad on your back and really bad for sciatica. You're also going to have vibration and bouncing. Oh, yeah. And there's... Brad's going to talk about the seat that he's been looking at, but, you know, a lot of them just don't really – Measure up, do they, Brad? So. Right. I've got a two-acre lawn. I've uh, been mowing it for 10 years, and uh, i got a lot of experience with uh, my back issue when I mow lawns. Yep. So we'll talk we'll about, talk some, about that. some yep. tricks that will help you out if you have to. If you can't get your kids to do it, you can't hire someone or get your wife or husband to do it, well, then... <laughs> we'll go over yeah. the options, but we really, you know, a lot of people say, well, who would do it if, if I don't do it? I say... Who's going to do it when you have back surgery? Right. Have that same person do it. <laughs> there you go. Because that's where you're headed if you, you know, don't take your back right. seriously. So these are the recommendations. Uh, first, we're going to start off with uh, you're, if, if you're in a riding lawnmower, most of them do not have very good back support. So we do want to have some type of support. Sure. Trying to maintain the arch in your back so that when you sit, you're not in the slouch position. So you get your butt all the way back. Yep. And you might start with a roll towel. Do we don't even have a roll towel no, anymore? Oh, it's right here, Bob. So you might just start as an experiment taking a roll towel. Um, depending on how large you are, if you're a slighter build like I am, you probably don't need a very thick one because there's not that much gap between my, you know, in my arch and my buttocks. Yep. But if you're a larger person, you might need to roll up a larger towel. You can use a rubber band or duct tape or whatever you want to do. Sure. And put it in there and just seed. Um, you, you know, find a p place where it feels the most comfortable. It's usually around belt line or a little bit lower, right. and it's just going to give your back some more support. If you find one, you know, the size that seems to work, eventually you might want to get something a little more permanent. Uh, we got so, some. It has a strap that goes around. We got the McKenzie rolls, and they have a variety of sizes and shape and densities. Uh, if you look on the on the site. Um, here's another here's an air-filled one. Yeah. I do want to mention there's a number of uh, homeowner lawnmowers that do not have a backrest that go high enough. Oh, if if yeah. that's the case, uh, they're just come up about four inches, then you don't have this option. You really have to monitor your posture. Um, but You're right. I've seen that. And it's yeah. like, that's even worse. So, right. Yeah, that's even... Yeah. So you like that one, Brad, right? Yeah. Th this is... This is what I use. I actually have an old one uh, that goes, because, you know, the grass is flying around. Right. And I just put that in there, and I push my back up against it. And, and uh, so that really made a big difference for you. Really, it really helped a lot. It helps. Yeah, it, it helps. Doesn't, it, the suspension on a lawnmower would help better. I don't have suspension, and they're ex quite a bit more expensive. If you're going to buy one, get suspension, although they're about $3,000 more from my wow. pricing. Uh, and you so looked at trying to put a better seat on yours. I did put a better seat on mine, and it wasn't the very good one. I didn't know. I've spent three hundred dollars on it. Took the factory one off, put that one on. It helped, but it wasn't very good. Now I'm looking at some new ones. That was uh, five or six years ago. I did that. Uh, actually, Toro makes a really nice rider with suspension. The seat is nice. I got to talk my wife into buying that one. That's expensive. Well, it's important because if you, you know, it hurts your back to the point you can't work. Right. You know, you really can't put a price on that. You right. know, that, that, and I enjoy doing the lawn. To sure. me, that's just a, a nice thing to get out and the relaxing fresh time air. for some time. Right. For, for so some I have people. a two acre lawn. If you have a lawn that your back bothers you, if it's more than a 15, 20 minute cut, then you're going to, instead of doing it all at once, do a third of it. That's what I do, a third, third, sure. and a third, and I break it up throughout the week, and I don't have a problem. Even if you break it up throughout the day, you know, like sure. even if you do a third, stop, walk a bit, yeah. rest, you know, and also maybe do some back extensions. If, sure. you have, if you have the typical back pain or if you have a sciatica, 
you actually want to put your hands on your low back like this and do some back extensions sure. here for a good, you know, 10 repetitions. Sure. Not good for spondylolisthesis or, or uh, 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 spinal stenosis. Right, right. But uh, it would be good for everybody else. Uh, and and yeah, the the breaking up is is you know the, the walking really gets things lubricated right. and, and feeling better. I just want to say, if you ride your lawnmower and you're bouncing around and your leg is getting worse, you feel the numbness, tingling, pain going yeah. down your leg. You've got to get off the lawnmower. Yeah, yeah. You, you you're do. not going to get up and do this. It's probably going to no. hurt. It's time to uh, to get someone else to do it. Yeah, for sure. Very good point, Brad. And also, after you do some lawn mowing, you definitely want to avoid any lifting or bending. For at least an hour, because you, you, it, it's been stretching the back into flexion and stretching out the ligaments. Yep. Your back is unstable. You've been putting pressure on the disc, so you're just more likely to hurt your back even worse uh, right after you've been been sitting right. and bouncing for a while. So you're mowing the lawn, and you see, I gotta move some brush over here. Don't get off your lawnmower and move it right away. Get off your lawnmower, walk around, come back, and do it. At a different time. I think I'm just going to cement my whole backyard. So I don't have to worry <laughs> paint about it. Paint it green. So, yeah, paint it green. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody, for watching.